J-Dog here at the Cigar Asylum, and today the patients are going nuts in anticipation of the new Cohibo Royale review. So the Cohiba Royale just came out uh, a few days ago, uh, hitting shelves. It is a $25 cigar, very expensive. So let's see uh, what we've got here. Um, I can tell you off the bat, I am not happy with the wrapper on this thing as far as the aesthetics. There's a lot of dents, you can see there, lines and creases around the top of the head. Um, there's not a lot of veins, but the veins that there are are very prominent. I mean, see, look at that one right there. Um, it's not very toothy either, but it is very silky and uh, oily. So um, for that kind of price, I'm, I'm just not happy with the wrapper. We'll talk about that a little more later. But uh, let's get this thing cut up and start smoking and see what, uh, what kind of flavors we're getting out of this. That's a nice looking V cut. Okay, so off the bat here, definitely getting some strong cocoa and leather um, right from the get go here. And it's, it is strong. A very good start here for this cigar, in my opinion. Um, let's talk about the blend. There's a couple of special things about this particular Cohiba that need to be mentioned. First, this is the um, first Cahiba cigar to be rolled in General Cigars Honduran factory. Um, all the others, with the exception of the Nicaraguan Cahiba, are rolled in the Dominican Republic. And of course, the uh, Nicaraguan Cahiba is rolled in their Nicaraguan factory. So, uh, first one in their Honduran factory. Uh, the second interesting thing is that according to General Cigars, all the tobacco in this is aged six to seven years. And of course, making this one of the more expensive non-Cuban Cohibas on the market. So um, let's, uh, let's talk about the blend um, and what we're working with here. And by the way, um, this thing is very strong on the leather and cocoa um, as I'm getting farther into it. Um, I can already tell this is not a cigar for beginners. Um, the, 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 the flavoring so far is very deep and robust. Okay, so for the uh, wrapper, we have a Nicaraguan Alapa sun-grown broadleaf. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, the color is Maduro, of course, and the um, binder is a Dominican Plato Cubano. Now we have three different fillers, um, and it's Dominican Lajero, uh, Honduran, and Nicaraguan Lajero. And with this combina combination, this is going to be a very bold cigar. Woo. We got some white pepper kicking in big time. And probably and I think some of that Habano spice too. Now I want to uh talk about the wrapper again. As I said, these are very expensive. Um this size ran twenty-five, I believe. Um and I think a box is like you get a box of ten and a beautiful, by the way, a beautiful box. It's probably uh, especially when it's open, one of the more uh, gorgeous boxes I've seen for cigars. Uh, but they come in a box of 10, um, and I think this size was like 240 maybe, somewhere around there. Um, but again, at that price, it's really sad that the wrapper looked like this. I've got, I need to take a look at the other ones, but to me that's kind of unacceptable, you know? I mean, I can get a wrapper like that on a $5 cigar. Um, so, you know, it's, ju it's just my opinion, but, uh, when you pay this kind of money for a cigar, 
for one cigar, you want a little bit of uh, quality everywhere on it, including the aesthetics. Now, with that said about the wrapper, this is turning out to be one hell of a cigar. Um, I'm really enjoying the heavy flavors on it. Um, the nicotine is kicking in, too. It's strong. I can, I'm starting to kind of feel the buzz on it. Um, this would go fantastic with a Cuban coffee or very dark roast coffee. Um, I think it would probably also go very well with a rum of some kind, thinking about it. Now, this size uh, is a Robusto size. It measures five and a half um, by uh, 54 ring gauge. And there are two other sizes. A smaller one, I think, is four and a half by maybe 52. And then they've got the standard Toro size, six by 50. Now, at this point in the cigar, the, um, the cocoa has really calmed down. But the leather and the white pepper, and now I've got really heavy wood coming into it as well. Uh, but the cocoa is, is kind of off now in the background. But um, just incredible strong flavors. Absolutely am loving this. So I read on uh, Fox News um, that uh, today, which is Saturday, um, that the stimulus checks uh, for Americans are supposed to go out between now and April 15th, which is what, next Wednesday or Thursday. And that people, most people, should be getting them later than that. Um, if you have the direct deposit with the IRS and government, it's you'll get yours a lot quicker, apparently. Um, so that's good news for people that need it. Uh, pay off some bills. Maybe get yourself a couple of nice cigars. So I got to tell you, too, the aroma on this is interesting. It... It has a bit of a floral aroma, which which um, is very pleasant. But you're, I'm also getting the pepper smell mixed in with that, and uh, together it's a very a very pleasant aroma. One uh, thing I was thinking of here is that I'm I'm surprised I have yet to have any kind of coffee uh, flavor in this. Um, I kind of would have expected that maybe from this blend, but uh, it's not a bad thing. It's just it's uh, I'm just not tasting any, so maybe uh, maybe somebody else will. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a little bit of a different rating on the flavor and the quality of the cigar. Uh, I'm gonna give it a five out of five cigars. The wrapper, unfortunately, I'm only gonna give it a two point five out of five cigars uh, because of the aesthetic value of it. Um, at that price, it needs to be a lot better wrapped. Um, with that said, um, this is a great cigar. I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to the other ones. Uh, I'm going to let them sit in the humidor for a while. This is a very strong cigar and bold, not for beginners. So with that said, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember to save the insanity for the Cigar Asylum.